For this video, we're going to talk about scatter plots and trend lines. A scatter plot is a statistical device that you'll use to compare bivariate data. Bivariate is just a fancy word for two variables. Uh, the variables are x and y. Now, in statistics, we typically don't have perfectly linear relationships, and you can tell that this data presented here doesn't have a perfect linear relationship. Now, as x goes up, y also goes up for the most part so we do have a positive association or a positive correlation but again it is not a perfect one to one or one to five ratio uh, now after we plot all of our pieces of data we can put what's called a trend line or a line of best fit through there and it is a line that all of the data kind of follows all right for what we're going to do with that today is we're going to use it to make a conjecture about data that's not on the graph. Now, a conjecture is an opinion or conclusion formed on the basis of incomplete information. So it's kind of like a hypothesis. We're going to use an educated guess to figure out the values for 11, which is on the graph, and the y value for, say, 13, which is off the graph, which would be somewhere in this vicinity. Now, in order to do this, all you need is a ruler and a pen, and then obviously a scatter plot with the trend line already drawn for you. Um, I want to preface this, uh, this task with this is not an exact answer. This is an in-the-ballpark type of answer. For some statistical analysis, in-the-ballpark is perfectly fine. So what we want to do is we want to find it in-the-ballpark for what we expect to happen at x equals 11 and what we expect to happen at x equals 13. Now, the first thing we need to do is extend our trend line out further than it is given to us. So I'm going to take my ruler, line it up with there, take my pen, and then just put it all the way off the edge of the paper. All right. So I said that my first value that I want to look for is x equals 11, which is right here. It's pretty easy. It's the very last line of the graph. So it's nice and easy that we can follow up from our value of 11 until this vertical line crosses our trend line at that point there. Then what we're going to do is, best as we can, we're going to get a horizontal line from this point. Pardon the bell there. And we're going to go all the way to the y-axis. Whenever it crosses the y-axis is where we expect the trend line to uh, be for x equals 11. So you can tell that I would say that's right at uh, y equals 32. So for a value of x equals 11 for this trend line, we expect to get a value of 32 for the y um, portion. Now that one's easy because it's already lined up for us, but sometimes they aren't. I said x equals 13 is what our next goal would be. So, because we have that ruler, we can look and see that each value here from 10 to 11 is about a centimeter, if you're looking at my ruler. So, to go from 11 to 13, we're going to add about 2 centimeters. Again, about, because we're not worried about exacts, we're worried about abouts right now. All right? So, I've extended out 2 centimeters. I'm going to say that's the value of x equals 13. We're going to do the same process take a straight line vertically off of x thir uh, equals 13 until we hit the trend line. And then we're going to take a horizontal line from there all the way to the y-axis. Now, we can tell that this y-axis, it is above any number that we have, but we can look and see that that is about a value of 2 above 35. So for 13, we expect to get a y value of uh, 37. So again, it was 13, 37, and then for 11, a while ago we got 32, right? So again, these are just estimations in the ballpark. Whenever you're given a scatter plot with the trend line, you can use a ruler to get a good estimation of what would actually happen rather than finding the um, equation of the line and then using the x value to plug that in.